M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the SDR receiver 1.0. So how do you change the frequency step? Because it's a really good question. If you keep pressing the big knob here on the right, eventually you'll get to zero there and you can turn now, turn the knob and you're changing frequency. But if you want to change frequency step, this is the, it's a little bit annoying, but it's doable. You have to hold it in hold it in then turn it while whilst you're holding it in and then you get finer increments see that and I'm turning again and there you go and if I want to hold it in turn it again eventually it will actually go to the big one there and as you go into certain bands look ham radio so it's you know that's how you do it just remember that when with the large knob to get selections, each time you press it in, it moves the red number. So right now, because the red is highlighted where it says speaker, I can turn it up, turn it down, press it again. That's your earpiece. Press again. That's your your mode USB LSB. Okay. Um, now to select the last few. When you're highlighted in red here, right, actually right now, channels highlighted. So we can scroll through the different channels. How do you save a channel? But well, once nice. you've typed uh, in a frequency, you, know, you can choose it in the, the way I just showed you, or you can actually tap the screen and then go 7.160 megahertz. And then to save that, you would just hold in the same knob and it saves it. So there's no VFO mode, there's just a hundred channels and you can save something to every channel. It does remember the settings. So regarding uh, how, do you, well, how do we select here, you've got reflector, LCD, IF gain. How do we select that? And you can actually select the top half of the spectrum and the bottom half of the waterfall. What you do is you have to cycle it until it's around, say, let's just say it's where the speaker is. Now push and turn the knob. Push, turn, and look, it starts to highlight the other ones. The reflector, the LCD, the IF gain, and down to the spectrum. You can actually change the spectrum color, look. See that? So I'll just summarize, and then hopefully this will help you, yeah? So you just press it once to cycle through. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six items. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, if you hold and press it in, you go, as we go across, you go one, two, three, four, five items, and then back to the, actually six items. So it's six and six. To change the, the frequency steps, you press until you see the red in the frequency, and then you push it in and turn to go to the smaller increments. And once you're there, you can just, just move it, okay? And this device, um, it's a budget device, it's a clone device, but it, it, I think for the cost, it works fine, no problem at all. If it was £200, I'd be like, nah, it's not worth it. But the £75 delivered, 4-inch, and, and it has broadcast radio, airband, HF, 6 metres, I think it works fine. And it's got a nice waterfall, and with the right antenna, you, uh, you, you, get, uh, you, you, know, you get all the little waterfall trails and everything. Bye for now, 7.3, SDR 1.0. The link is in the description. Bye for now.